when a question says expand, it is asking us to get rid of the brackets. We do that by multiplying the term outside the brackets by both of the terms inside the brackets. So let's look at this first example. We're going to do 5 times a. 5 times a, we write as 5a. We don't write a time sign in algebra, so 5a means 5 times a. Then we're going to do 5 times 4. It's a positive times a positive, so it's going to be a plus, and 5 times 4 is 20. So the answer is 5a plus 20. For the second one, 2 times b, we just write as 2b, and 2 times negative 3 is going to be negative, a positive times a negative is negative, and 2 3s are 6. So the answer is 2b minus 6. The third one, c times 2, we don't write c2, we always put the number first. So c times 2 is 2c. And c times c, it's going to be a plus, it's positive times a positive. c times c is c squared. If we have a number times itself, we can say that that number is squared. So 4 times 4 is the same as 4 squared. 5 times 5 is 5 squared. So c times c is c squared. And the fourth one, we've got d times e. And d times e, we just write as de. De means d times e. And try and put the numbers in alphabetical order. So d comes before e. And we've got d times negative f, which is going to be negative. And d times f is just df. Okay, four questions for you to try. So pause the video, have a go at them, and then press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Question one. So we're multiplying the term outside the brackets by both of the terms inside the brackets. So seven times v, which we just write as seven v, and seven times two, it's a plus, and 7 times 2 is 14. So 7v plus 14. The second one, 4 times b, that's 4b. And 4, positive 4 times a negative 1 is negative, and 4 times 1 is 4. Number 3, n times n, that's n squared. And we've got a positive times a negative. And n times 9 is 9n. And the fourth one, m times 9 is 9m. And m times m is m squared. Okay, another set of examples. We're going to follow the same steps, so multiplying the term on the outside of the brackets by both of the terms inside the brackets. So the first one, we've got 5k times k, and 5k means 5 times k, so it's 5 times k times k, k times k is k squared, and 5 times k squared, we just write as 5k squared. So we've got 5k squared. And 5k times 4, so we've got 4 times 5 times k, 4 times 5 is 20, and 20 times k, we just write as 20k. The second one, 2p times 4p, so 2 times p times 4 times p, we can times the 2 and the 4 together, 2 times 4 is 8, and we can times the p and the p together to get p squared. So we've got 8 times p squared, which we just write as 8p squared. 
and 2p times a negative 1 is negative 2p. The third one, 7u times 2v. We can do 7 times 2, which is 14. We've got 14 times u times v. We write that as 14 uv. Now we've got a positive times a negative, so it's going to be negative. And we've got 7u times 5. 7 times 5 is 35. And it's times by u, so we write that as 35u. And the fourth one, 3c squared times 2c. 3 times 2 is 6. And we've got c times c, which is c squared, times another c. So we've got c times c times c, which we can write as c cubed. Then we've got 3c squared times 9d. 3 nines are 27. c squared times d, we just write as c squared d. That means c squared times d. Four more for you to try, so pause the video and give them a go. The first one, we've got 4m times m. 4m times m is 4m squared. m times m is m squared. Then we've got 4m times a negative 7, so it's going to be negative, and 7 4s are 28. So it's going to be 28 times m, which is 28m. 5b times b is 5b squared. 5b times 10 is 50b. The third one, a times 3a is 3a squared. A positive times a negative is negative. And a times 9b, so a times 9 times b, we write the number on the front, and then a, b, so 9 times a times b. And the last one, 6m times 2m, that's 12m squared. Positive times a negative is negative, 6 fives are 30, and times m times n, we just write as m n. Okay, now the question says expand and simplify. So we're being asked to get rid of the brackets, that's expand, and then simplify after, so we're going to collect the like terms together. So add up the things that are the same. So let's expand first. So we're going to do 6 times a. 6 times a is 6a. 6 times 2, that's 12. Then we have 3 times a, which is 3a, positive. And 3 times 4, again positive, and 12 this time. So collecting the like terms, we've got 6a plus 3a and 12 plus 12. So 6a plus 3a, 6 of something plus 3 of something is 9 of that something, so 9a's, and 12 plus 12 is 24. So we've got 9a plus 24. And the second one, so we're going to expand these brackets. So 4 times b is 4b. 4 times a negative 5 is going to be negative, and 4 5s are 20. Negative 3 times b is going to be negative, and it's 3b. And negative 3 times a positive 1 is a negative 3. So we've got b terms which we can add together, and we've got these numbers we can add together. 4b's take away 3b's, that's 1b, which we just write as b, and 
negative 20 take away 3, negative 20 down another 3 is negative 23. So B minus 23. On to the third one. C times C is C squared. C times 9 is 9C. 5C times C, that's 5C squared. And 5C times a negative 1 is negative 5C. So this time we've got C squared terms and C terms. So for the C squareds, we've got 1C squared plus 5C squareds. That is 6C squareds. And for the C's, I've got 9. 9 of them take away 5 of them, which gives me 4 of them. So I've got 6C squareds plus 4C. And number 4. We're going to have 3D times 2E. 3 times 2 is 6. And that's times D times E, so 6DE. 3D times negative 7. It's going to be negative. A positive times a negative is negative. 3 7s are 21. And it's 21 times D, so 21D. We've got negative 4D times E, so it's going to be negative 4DE. And a negative times a negative is going to be positive. 4D times 10 is going to be 40D. So let's collect like terms. We've got 6DEs, take away 4DEs, and we've got negative 21d plus 40d so what do we have six take away four that'll be two so we've got two de's and 40 d's take away 21 d's that is 19 d's so we've got two de plus 19 d okay four for you to try so have a go at these ones now Okay, let's go through them. So the first one, 8 times P is 8P. Eight, 8 threes are 24. 2 times P is 2P. And 2 fours are 8. So collecting the like terms, we've got 8P plus 2P which is 10p, and 24 plus 8, which is 32. For the second one, 3 times q is 3q. 3 times a negative 6 is negative 18. Negative 4 times q is negative 4q. And negative 4 times positive 1 is negative 4. So we've got three Qs take away four Qs and negative 18 take away four. Three take away four is negative one. We've got negative one Q. I'll just write that as negative Q. And negative 18 take away four, down another four, negative 22. So negative Q take away 22. The third one, r times 2r is 2r squared. r times 7 is 7r. r times 3r is 3r squared. And r times negative 1 is negative r. So we've got r squareds and r's to simplify. 2r squareds plus 3r squareds. That makes 5R squareds, and 7Rs, take away 1R, is 6Rs. So we've got 5R squared plus 6R. 
And question four, 5s times 2s, that's 10s squared. 5s times a negative 8, it's going to be negative. A positive times a negative is negative. And 5s times 8, 5 eights are 40, so that's 40s. We've got negative 6s times s, so it's going to be negative 6s squared. And we've got negative 6s times negative 9. A negative times a negative is positive. And 6s times 9 is going to be 54s. So we've got s squareds to collect and s's to collect. So for our s squareds, 10 of them take away 6 of them is 4 of them. So 4s squareds. And for our s's, we've got 54 take away 40, which is 14. To finish up, we've got three questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one. The question says expand. So we're going to get rid of the brackets. 8 times a is 8a. And 8 times 2 is 16. It's a positive 16, so it's 8a plus 16. Question 2. We've got 4b times 6b. 4 times 6 is 24. And b times b is b squared. Then we've got 4b times a negative 5. So it's going to be negative. And 4 5s are 20. So we've got 20b. And the third one, expand and simplify. So 6c times c, which is 6c squared. 6c times 7, which would be 42c. We've got a negative c times c, which would be negative c squared. And a negative c times a negative 5, so positive 5c. So we'll collect like terms. The question says expand and simplify. So we've expanded. Now we're going to simplify. We've got 6c squared. Take away 1c squared. So 6 take away 1 is 5. So we've got 5c squared. We've got 42c's plus another 5c's, which is going to get us to 47c's. So we've got 5c squared plus 47c.